Hey guys, Dr. Kevin here from Restorative Chiropractic and excited to share some news with you as we introduce formally the newest member of our practice and that is the Erconia FX 635 laser. Now you might have heard of cold laser before and that is a common term that's used for what these lasers do and in the research it's also referenced as low level laser therapy. I personally like to use low level laser therapy instead of cold laser for this simple reason. When the laser's on, it's not cold. You don't feel anything at all. So I've had a number of patients ask me if it feels cold, if it's like ice, and the answer is no. You don't feel anything at all when it's on. So the next question that you are gonna ask is, what is it good for? Why do I care about it? And how does it work? And so some of these questions I wanna answer for you now. So kind of clear the air up. So how it works and what it does very simply is it decreases pain, decreases inflammation, and increases the rate of cellular healing. Kind of a fancy word for this is called photobiomodulation. And as that name implies, it's using light to change and manage what the cell is doing. So this quite simply, like I said, is decreasing pain, decreasing inflammation, increasing the rate at which the cells are able to heal. So if we were to go back to seventh grade biology class and remember the cell and what it's made of, one of the structures inside the cell is called the mitochondria. And that structure is critically important and it's the generator for the cell. It's what's producing the energy or ATP for that cell to be running on. And so this has also been shown to increase the biogenesis or the creation of these mitochondria and that energy up to 60%. So pretty profound what it's able to do at the cellular level. So who is it good for? Well, it's been shown in the research to be beneficial for chronic neck pain, disc herniations, frozen shoulder, tendonitis of the elbow, like tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, knee pain, disc herniations in the low back, sciatica, even plantar fasciitis. In fact, this is an FDA approved device for plantar fascia. So we see it's great for a whole host of different musculoskeletal conditions. It's also great for different neurological conditions. There's research that suggests it being beneficial in Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, even autism spectrum disorders. And so I was just reading an article the other day about how it's potentially being beneficial in breaking up amyloid plaques, the plaques that form in the brain with Alzheimer's disease or what is also referenced as type three diabetes. So profound tool that's able to impact a whole host of different conditions. So we're really excited to have it here. As I talked about earlier, the term photobiomodulation is using light. So this is using a three lasers that we can really target around a specific injury or structure in the body and it emits a red light and that red light is visible obviously and it's at a specific wavelength which is 635 nanometers now that wavelength is the kind of the specific energy where cells are dividing and where a lot of cell processes are happening there's different lasers that exist. In fact, I have a small little red laser here that also is 635 nanometers and keep this one at home. It was someone that I used um, for a few years back now. And if somebody says that they're using laser therapy, that's great and laser is going to help you. The power that's behind the laser is really what's going to determine how effective that laser is going to be though. So as you can imagine, this little one that's the size of a pen versus three lasers in a machine this, this large, the outcomes are gonna be a little bit different. So we want to, see, when we're getting laser, to be looking at what kind of power is behind it to be able to generate those changes that we want to see within the cell. So as I said, this is an FDA approved laser. We're really excited to have it here. If you've got questions about it or you're wondering what else it might be good for, please feel free to give the office a call. There are a few contraindications to it, so I'll list them off for you real quick here. If you're pregnant, 
It's not advised to be doing it if you're on, taking any kind of medication that makes you sensitive to light. We wouldn't want to be utilizing it. If you've been diagnosed with cancer in the last 12 months or been treated for it in the last 12 months, we wouldn't be utilizing it. And the last one is if you have a pacemaker or a defibrillator for the heart. So those are kind of the contraindications to it. Otherwise, it's been shown to be incredibly safe and effective through thousands of different research articles that exist right now on it, more coming out all of the time. So once again, if you have other questions on it, feel free to reach out to us. Shoot us an email, info at restorativechiro.com. Message us on Facebook or Instagram. We're excited to have this here. Excited to see patient outcomes change as a result of using it as not only a standalone therapy, but synergistically with chiropractic care. The research is out there. It's been shown to be effective, and we're excited to offer it to you all now. So thanks so much, everybody. Look forward to talking with you soon.